Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you haven't heard by now, Amazon have finally released two new versions of the Fire Stick and today I'm going to take a look at them both and go over what's hot and what's not. Comment down below if you'll be buying one and let me know which one or just comment down below with your thoughts on these new devices. So when you're ready, let's take a look. So Amazon have released a whole new collection to add to its range of products and it came with two new Fire Sticks. Over the coming weeks I'm going to be bringing you an in-depth look into both of these Fire Sticks and also comparing old versus new to find out which in my opinion is better and why. In this video today we're going to take a look at comparing the all new Amazon Fire TV Stick Lite and comparing it to the Amazon Fire Stick 3rd generation. First, let's talk about price. The Amazon Fire TV Stick Lite has been released with a price tag of $29.99 in the US or £29.99 in the UK and it's the cheapest of the Fire Stick family. The new Fire Stick 3rd generation is retailing at $39.99 in the US or £39.99 in the UK so you are getting a better price if you live in the US but how do they compare to each other and what do you get extra with the Fire Stick 3rd gen to make it $10 or £10 more expensive? Looking at them both on screen, the main difference from a visual point of view is that the third generation Fire TV stick comes with the second generation remote that includes TV controls. The new Fire TV stick Lite comes with a brand new designed remote control, however it does not have the functionality to control your TV. Now besides that, technically both new Fire Sticks are very similar. Both new Fire TV sticks run on Fire OS 7, which is the same as the second generation Fire Cube, and I will go into that in a lot more detail on my next video, so stay tuned for that. Both have the same processor and quad-core 1.7 GHz CPU, as well as the same IMG GE8300 GPU. So both Fire TV sticks should run at exactly the same speed. Next is RAM. Again, both have exactly the same 1GB of DDR4 memory and for the price I do think that this is good. However, I would have liked to have seen more RAM, especially in the 3rd generation Fire TV stick as the older 4K Fire Stick released 2 years ago in 2018 has 1.5GB 1 of RAM. But put this 1GB of RAM together with the quad-core processor and this should really give you great performance for the price. Both have Bluetooth 5 giving 4 times more range than 4.2 and 2 times the speed. Both have dual band Wi-Fi so you can connect it to either your 2.4 or 5GHz band if your router supports it. Storage is the same with 8GB on both and again I would have expected to see an increase here as we all know that a major drawback with the Fire Stick is that it comes with a small amount of storage and when you actually go into the settings and check the storage capacity is less at just 5GB of actual usable storage space. I will be releasing a new video in the coming weeks showing you how to increase both the storage and the system storage on both of these new devices. And lastly, both have Alexa voice control from the remote. So as you can see, they are both very similar. Both have the same operating system, processor and GPU, RAM, storage and connectivity, which should give us the same processing speeds and power when using either of these new Fire TV sticks. As a quick comparison, I downloaded, installed and opened the YouTube app on both of these new devices and as you can see there's maybe less than a second difference but this could be due to tiny time differences in me pressing the buttons. So in terms of performance, in my opinion they are exactly the same. But if you are a massive fan of having the best quality sound output, then there is a big difference here. The Fire Stick 3rd generation supports Dolby Atmos, Dolby Digital and Dolby Digital Plus, whereas the Fire TV Stick Lite only supports HDMI audio pass-through. The other main difference between these two new devices really is just the remote. 
the light comes with a newly designed remote with a new guide button and the third generation comes with the second generation remote that was released with other models of the Fire TV stick and cube that includes buttons to control your TV. So I guess the question you probably want to know the answer to is should I buy one of these new Fire TV sticks? The answer really comes down to what you're looking for. If, like me, you already have a 4K Fire Stick or the Fire Cube, then for me personally, Amazon just haven't given enough enhancements to justify an upgrade. But if you have the second generation or older Fire TV Stick and you are looking to upgrade, then yes, I definitely would go for one of these newer models. So if you are going to get one, which one should you buy? If your main concern is power and performance, then as both new Fire Sticks are extremely similar, then I wouldn't pay the extra $10 or £10 as you're only paying mainly for the remote functions that come with the new third generation and the enhanced audio. However, if it is important to you to have the best quality sound and the ability to control your TV, then the third generation will give you this. In my final summary, in my opinion, I think that Amazon have taken a side step instead of a step forwards with these new devices. I do believe that there was a real opportunity to bring us an updated HD and 4K Fire Stick with a better processor, more RAM and either more storage or an SD slot would have been perfect. But with this kind of upgrade, this probably would have taken the cost of the Fire Stick over the $60 or £60 mark. And in this circumstance that we all find ourselves in in this world today, this would be pricing themselves out of the streaming market. So with all of that being said, they have updated these new devices, making them much faster and more powerful than the second generation Fire Stick. And keeping them under the $40 mark makes both very appealing to everyone. If you do decide to give yourself an upgrade, please do consider going through my affiliate links that you will find in the description below, as this does help to support my channel. Thank you for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. And subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases.